Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. 2024 was a huge year for AI and 2025 looks like it is going to be even bigger. Question that I often get asked is how do I find out about all of these different AI tools? I definitely have my own networks and I see a lot of great demos on LinkedIn. I also get developers who approach me directly with their tools to try and sometimes to review. But another great place is a number of sites that I'm going to share with you today that are big lists that are compiled of different AI tools. So I'm going to show you a number of different sites that have lists of AI tools. Also an AI community where there's a lot of people that will go discuss tools that they've found, things that they like and stuff like that. So let's jump into these tools. The URLs for all of them will be shared in the video description down below. This year I'll be sharing lots more tools, tips, techniques with AI, data, stats, research, and other random stuff that takes my interest. If you're not already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe and the bell notification to get notified of my latest videos. So let's jump in and take a look at these sites. First one up is a bit of a classic. There's an AI for that. The site is one of the older ones, been around for a while. We can see that it now is sharing 27,000 different AI tools. And some of them are pretty silly and some of them are pretty bad, but some of them are pretty amazing as well. You can access the search just by going to there's an AI for at.com. But if you actually sign in and you just need a Google account to be able to sign in, then you do get some other bits and pieces down the side here. You're able to save AIs that you come across. On this main page, we see AIs in a chronological order. So starting with the just launched and working backwards with a column on the right hand side of featured ones. But we do have options here to look at trending. Also to be able to jump into lists where they have been grouped into different themes. So we can see here, top left, one we would always be interested in, free AI tools. And if we scroll down, we've got content creation, money, all sorts of different bits and pieces. If there's something in particular after though, just from the homepage, using the search box, you can have a search and it will normally come up with some pretty good suggestions. You'll notice that they show what the costs are. So most have a free and a paid plan. The star ratings don't mean too much just yet. Probably a little bit more for the heavily used ones. And we can also see, say with this code robot one, how many people have been bookmarking it as well. But if you want to search for AIs to do a particular thing, this is a great place to come. Really the only downside is the potential to get overwhelmed because there is so many things on the site. It can sometimes mean that you do a search and you'll just get too many responses. But in terms of just finding out what's out there, this is a great site. Next up, Future Tools. So futuretools.io, nice easy interface, far fewer tools than on the last site. They have a search bar up the top here. They've got some filters so we can filter for the different types of AI tools that we're looking for. Like a lot of these sites, they have newsletters and some of the picks we might find that they are getting paid to advertise. So that's one thing to watch out for is that with all of these, sometimes the featured list just means that that company has decided to spend a bit of marketing money to show up higher in the lists. 3000 tools, so far fewer, but a little bit more streamlined. And so let's suppose we were just interested in research tools. That brings it down to 197. That's still a ton, but just scrolling through, that's going to give us some rabbit holes to go down. In fact, even just on this first page here, I can see a couple that I hadn't heard of before. Rabbit holes sounds pretty interesting. This whole page I think is going to be a bit of a rabbit hole for us, but look at all of these. As we come down, we'll see a few like Storm that I have reviewed or used, but really nice interesting list. Great way to discover some new tools. And even with this one to maybe find things that are a little bit different. So if we untick research, let's tick inspiration. No idea what's going to show up here. Only 25 of them. And of those 25, we can see the chat GPT is in there. ChatGPT is probably an answer to almost everything, but we can see some different bits and pieces in there. I find that it can be quite nice just to do a search of things I wouldn't normally just to see what's out there. 
next site up we've got insider.ai and so we can see that they have an AI community and then they have the AI tools as well 500 plus tools in the list so far fewer again sorted by these different types we can look at the drop down and we can see some more specifics in there we've got a search box so we can search if there's a particular thing that we're after or we can have a bit of a scroll and see what things we find. So this one, in addition to those tools lists, they do have this community. I haven't really dived into this, but we can see there's a few resources, there's a few tools there. Always a little bit skeptical of the courses unless they are free courses. There's so much free information out there. I don't think there's generally much need to be paying for a course unless you're getting something that's very specific and very niche. And ideally from someone who is an expert on that particular thing something that's just a generic what's chat gpt you can find plenty of information for free on youtube but nice to be able to get into a community if you don't have peers of your own to be able to discuss these kinds of things with Next up, topai.tools. This one's got 16,000 tools. Instead of having the filters straight up, they've just got a couple of categories here that will give you a bit of a filter. So if we go on the use cases, then we end up with the different possibilities. So data analytics, scroll past. We can have a look, say, at data analytics and we a little bit about what it is and then 12 tools and having a look at the tools that are here certainly it's missing a few i suspect this might be a little bit of a paid site so don't see visley don't see julius definitely it is missing a few but if we go back to the home the fact that there is so many tools again just for exploration and in addition to exploration i think it's nice to have some diversity in your exploration so that's why i'm sharing a number of different sites here we didn't just go to there's an ai for that and stop there one last page of tools this one is futurepedia.io we can see that they have info on tools agents they have some courses as well they have a link to their own YouTube and again we can scroll down we've got some different business functions I think they are a little bit more business oriented than some of the other sites that we had a look at and the different categories as well. On this site, one thing that I do quite like is that they do give a bit of a review. With the others, it's often just a hyperlink straight to the site. With this one, it gives you a bit of information. So eSkilled AI Course Creator. I'm gonna do a video at some stage about some of these course creators. And we can see that it's got a shot of the page. It's got some information about it. It's got a pros and cons list, who is using it, pricing tiers. So this is some really handy information. Not sure how accurate these ratings are. Not quite clear if it's actually users that are giving those or not, or if it is the site itself. But the rest of this information, the pricing tier, the integrations, the information about what you get and what this tool does, that's really handy. So I wanted to share this one because it did have that extra amount of information about each of the sites that it is listing. And so last up, we have AIVIL. AIVIL is a little bit different than the others. It is a set of communities. So we have forums. We still have some links to different AI tools, but this is very much of for people like you who are interested in AI to be able to come and discuss. And we can see here just on the homepage gives you just different posts that people have made and we can see down the left hand side lots of different communities so writing business health finance design all sorts of different communities that you can join we go in there and a little bit like reddit or that kind of style we can just scroll down look at posts we can make a new post it seems to be a fairly well trafficked site and that can be really handy for being able to get some good discussions you can see here this uh, second one 521 likes 62 comments you can also see this person that posted has been a member for nearly a year so it's been around for a little while and it's a nice way to be able to interact with other humans about AI rather than having to rely on all of the discovery being just by yourself so this is AIville.com and I recommend it. Just have a look through the forums. You might be able to make some good connections there. Also be able to get recommendations and learn things where the people posting, some of them may be developers and they may be trying to promote their own AI tools and products. But a lot of it are people like you and people like me who are just really interested in AI. And so you can have some great discussions here as well. 
So that's AIville.com. So today we've had a look at these five different sites that are sharing tools, also this AI community site. These are some really great places for you to get engaged, get excited, be able to interact and just expand that knowledge and that learning about AI, get exposure to more tools and increase your breadth of knowledge. Hope this has been helpful. I'll be back really soon with lots more videos on AI stats, data research and random stuff.